Right, uh, I've got my pancake coil again, and uh, what I'm doing is uh, I'm pulsing it at about 850 kilohertz. And if you can imagine, that, uh, this little black box I've got here is a mobile phone. I'll just cut the top off it. And if we place this just on top, if you can see that there, if you place that just on top, you can see that. Uh, uh, we're getting power transfer. I think it's uh, induct inductance that it's using to transfer the power. But uh, we haven't actually got any uh, cause to it at all. So what we're using is that uh, the resonant rise. So uh, what we've done is uh, found out that the re resonant frequency of this pancake coil is uh, 850, and then when we a smaller coil on it, we can then uh, capture the energy back out again at uh, a very low loss. I'm going to hook my multimeters up so you can see what the, uh, the power in and power out is. I'll do that now. Right, I've uh, hooked my multimeter up now, and uh, light's still on. And um, lo and behold, <laughs> it doesn't range that far because uh, I didn't really consider that uh, it's 863 kilohertz. I'm going to go and get my uh, analog meter out right? so we can see what the uh, the real voltage is coming through this. Right, so um, <coughs> basically it's still working. I'm going to put it uh, down there and if we look at the AC current, we've got 5 volts AC. So uh, we've got 5 volts AC going in, and uh, let's see how many amps. Amps we've got on this range is we've got it on point 0.1 and it looks like it's coming out at 42 milliamps. That's great. Now we know this is drawing uh, 5 volts AC at uh, 42 milliamps. Now first to get our uh, mobile phone type device and just place it on there. You see it lights up uh, full brightness. Now uh, that's a 5 volt LED which runs at uh, I think it's 19 milliamps. So uh, but we're actually bl blocking half of what we're getting through there. I think if we was to put another LED the opposite way around we would get them both lit up at the same input voltage. Now, uh, that's a very low loss, in my opinion. But uh, the idea would be to uh, put this just underneath the laminate, and then like, uh, you'd know where your uh, phone charging station was. And you could just place your phone down, so it's it charging. And then uh, there it is charging up. There's uh, no connections, no nothing. So, any thoughts are uh, welcome. And uh, thanks for watching.